Hi, we're going to talk about musical intervals. Intervals in music is the distance between two notes. They can be a harmonic interval, which is uh, the relationship between two notes that are one on top of the other, or could be melodic interval, which is when two notes are in sounding at different times. To understand intervals, we're going to make a list of eight numbers and we're going to draw a line in between four and five, as we can see now. This divides the list in two equal parts of four numbers and we're going to pay special attention to the number one, four, five and eight. Those will represent the perfect intervals. Now, with regards to the second, third, and the sixth, and the seventh number, or in this case, are going to be the names of the intervals, they are subject to be minor or major, as you can see here. They're never going to be perfect. The perfects are only the, the, the one, the fourth, the fifth, and the eighth. We also need to say that the position number one is usually commonly named as a unison. Now with that um, in mind, we are prepared to build our first table of intervals. This table had to be memorized if we need to find out then the name of the intervals in the future. These are the name of the intervals and in the order. The first one is, as we said, the perfect unison. We're going to talk later how to name them, <coughs> but at the moment we're just going to list the name at the order. Then we come with the minus second, we usually write it as M2, the major second with the uppercase M2 and then the minor third, the major third, then the perfect fourth which uh, we usually write it down as a P4 and then here appears a new one which is something in between the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth which is a diminished fourth or augmented fifth. Um, it's a bit bigger in distance from the perfect fourth and a bit smaller than the perfect fifth. Then we have the perfect fifth, the minor sixth, the major sixth, the minor seventh, the major seven, and the perfect octave. As you can see, what we're trying to say before is that the second goes through minor and major, the third the same, the sixth and the seventh, but on the first, the perfect unison, the perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and perfect octave, they don't actually have uh, the major or minor version of it. Now that we know the name of the basic intervals, we're going to try to measure them. And we're going to measure them through the number of semitones in between the two notes we are analyzing in every single interval. For example, suppose the violin and the flute are playing the same note. There are two notes, but are actually the same. Well, consider that we need to measure the distance in between the two notes. The violin is playing D, this one here, and the flute is also playing the same note. In that case, the distance in intervals in between the, these two notes is zero. There is no any semitone in between them. That allows us to say that those two notes are creating a unison.
then suppose we have two notes that are the just one semitone away from each other for example D and E flat those two notes are making a minor second because they are one semitone away from each other suppose I have a C sharp and a D sharp here if I count the name of semitones in between then I count one two that means that we are facing a major second if for example I go from C to E flat I count one two three that's three semitones that makes a minor third if I go from F to A I count one two three four semitones that makes a major third if I go for example from B to E I count one two three four five that makes a fourth now what happens if we need to measure the distance between for example C and F sharp then we're going to have one two three four five six semitones they're going to be six semitones away from each other then that is going to be called a diminished fourth if I consider that instead of being an F sharp that is a G flat which is actually the same note we're going to count and obviously the number of semitones distance is going to be the same six that's why we have a, either the name of diminished fourth or augmented fifth that will depends on whether we call this an F sharp or a G flat which is actually the same note from the oral point of view if I try to count the distance between D and A I'm going to get one two three four five six seven semitones that then allows me to say that between D and A there is a perfect fifth and you go on adding here one semitone and you get the minor sixth the major sixth the minor seventh the major seventh and finally the octave let's prove that the octave has actually 12 semitones for example if we go from C to C we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 semitones now make sure you have this table here available either on paper or in your mind and uh, if you don't actually have it you by remember the order of the intervals here and then that this goes from 0 to 12 you can work it out yourself but you'll need it in order to be able to tell the name of the intervals as we're going to do now an interval has a number part and a quality part of it for example if I say a minor third the minor thing is, is the quality of the interval and third is the number in order to determine the number with accuracy in a written interval that we need to find out the name we need to um, count 
the number of uh, lines and spaces we're going through on the staff that's why we're going to call this staff count and we say that uh, for example from C to A we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 line and spaces that means that this is going to be a sixth a sixth something we don't know yet but we'll discover it with um, the other part that we're going to do which is the keyboard count now this uh, we need to notice that we start from C considering this number one and then we end up in A we then have the keyboard count which is uh, the one that is going to help us to determine with accuracy the quality of the interval and uh, this is quite similar to what we've been doing about counting semitones for practical reasons for example if we need to count it from uh, C to A as we did before we're going to count considering number zero here so we say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and we discover that from C to A there are 9 semitones of distance in between this, them both that is going to help us to determine whether that um, interval is minor, major, perfect, augmented or diminished